Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal, we have some nice sunny weather out here. And we are doing a video that has been requested by so many of you guys that it's not even funny. And today, we're gonna make it happen. But recently, I picked up this American Tactical Nomad in 410. It's just a pretty basic single shot break open 410. Actually found that one at Gun Prime. And you guys have been requesting do a clay test with birdshot, buckshot, and slugs. That's exactly what we got here today. Let me show you what we're going to be flinging. Before we get into the awesomeness of this 410 video, let me tell you a little bit about the sponsor for today's video, USCCA. This is actually a pretty serious one. The U.S. Concealed Carry Association literally helps to save lives. Let me explain. The USCCA is a membership association that provides self-defense education, training, and peace of mind to over half a million responsibly armed Americans nationwide. Check out the link down below to USCCA and check them out and learn how you can become a member of the USCCA. For the bird shot. I've got some of this Federal Top Gun. What is it saying? 1330 feet per second. And it's seven and a half shot. That's the first one we're going to shoot. Then the second one we're going to shoot is this Buckshot. This is some Golden Bear 3 inch Magnum. And it's got five little old babies in there. That thing's going to be awesome, I think. And then, probably what may be the most exciting is this Winchester Super X Slug, 1800 feet per second. I just chronographed that and it absolutely does do that. Half ounce slug, 1800 feet per second. That's probably what I'm most excited to see is this slug. And I filmed a video the other day. Man, you guys can't see my face, but now you can see my crazy hair. Um, I filmed a video the other day saying that I I shot all that I had. I found this other box and literally had one more in it so we could do this video. But check it out. Bird shot versus buck shot versus 410. Clay blocks. Um, there, there's two sides to the story when we talk about 410. And I know because you guys uh, tell me in the comments and I read and reply to every single comment. There's some people who say 410 is for kids and women. And then there are other people that say 410 is is for the gentleman and you can't shoot unless you hunt with a 410. Anybody can hit something with a 12 gauge, but you gotta be an expert to shoot with a 410. Needless to say, uh, comment down below which one you are. I probably agree with both of them. I'm just out here slinging bullets, having a good time making videos, but let's go. Um, I'm gonna go back to 710 yards. I don't go back too far and miss. I only got one slug. Um, aim square in the nose on all these. We'll go bird shot, buck shot. Slug. Try to get some good footage for you guys to check out. We'll see what happens. Check it out. Bird shot first. All right, here goes that bird shot there. I'm at like I don't know five six yards. See what happens. more damage than I expected man so for all you guys that said 410 is just for a bunch of babies that uh, opinion might have been disproven at least at five or six yards let's go check out what happened to the clay so walking in straight at it look at this man that's just a mess you just about can't tell what happened what was where man that's just a mess it was a little cube when we hit her this way, knocked half of it, cut it in half really, look at that. The back half of it's back there. But that is some serious damage from a 410. Simply some bird shot there. Let's look around this side real quick. Oh man, clay everywhere. See some of those little pellets down in there. Check that out right there. Man, did a number on that. Surprised me. I don't know about you guys, that really surprised me. I did not expect that. I just kind of thought it kind of pushed the front back or peel a little bit away. 
that really slapped her hard even with that cheapy 410 somewhat low power stuff but slowed up that buckshot next i think i got her in my pocket i think yep that's that five shot buckshot one let's load up a new piece of clay and hit that baby all right now we got that little brass buckshot one same distance let's see what happens hopefully i can hit that Definitely a lot more damage. Man, that was nuts. So I think we got a pretty square hit on that, but there was one piece, I don't know if you guys could see it from your angle, that like pizza pied spinning just behind it for like two or three seconds. That was nuts. But let's go take a look and see what happened here. Here's looking straight at it. So judging from this, we must have hit it a little bit to the right half, but man, absolutely did a crazy hot number on that piece of clay there. Check that out. Busted that sucker wide open. See those little funky grooves in there where the balls must have gone? But hey, let's load up with the slug. Hopefully we can get a pretty center shot. Looking down the barrel of that with the slug, but let's see what happened. Here we go with that Winchester Super X slug here, guys. Aim right dead center of it. Look at that. A piece of it came back and hit me in the thigh. That actually stung, smarted me real good. That one, at least from my perspective, I think is the most awesomest so far. But let's go check it out. So just like all the others, we had that thing set up here on these two uh, pieces of wood here. And that thing blew it all the way back there. Definitely hit it with some force. And let's see. I don't know. Can we see anything from this here? Oh yeah, check that out. So there's some pieces of lead in there definitely. Right there. Right there. Right there. So that all the way over here. There's some lead chunks. Definitely just kind of hit that thing dead center and poof, mushroomed it out. I won't see it until I edit it, but you guys probably saw on the slow motion, that thing, I'm gonna call the winner. The slug, absolutely the winner. Uh, all of them produced a different type of effect, impact on that clay, but man, I don't know about you guys, but I have a new respect for the 410 shotgun after filming this video, absolutely awesome man this is a video you want to share with your friends appreciate you guys watching like i said i absolutely have a new respect for the 410 shotgun after filming this video but don't forget to check out our sponsors for today's video uscca check them out in the link in the description down below and see how you can become a part appreciate y'all we'll see you on the next one Hoo -hoo.